What's going on, guys? It's Mr. DEBT, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group. And today I want to talk about adult children and the relationship with their parents from a financial standpoint. Uh, recent studies from Bank Rate came out and said that 60% of those that were surveyed, and this was a thousand adults that had adult children, said that they're digging into their retirement accounts and their savings to pay for the lifestyle costs of their adult children. They broke it down and said maybe 30% said that that was related to student loan debt, which we know can be heavy. But 50 to 60% said that they're paying for like meals, they're paying rent, they're paying mortgage payments, they're paying for car notes, car repairs, they're paying for insurances. They're literally uh, taking care of their adult children in one way or another. And I want to know from you guys, and I want to talk about what is the cutoff point for adult children from a financial standpoint? Does it last until death? Does it just stop at 30 or 35 or 36, 37, 38? Like, what is the cutoff point? We've seen that this is an American thing more than anything else uh, based on recent studies, but I'm really looking into and really want to understand the dynamics between adults and adult children and digging into financial accounts like retirement funds and how long that should last and how far one should go in terms of risking their retirement for their children. Now, I know the good thing to say is that you should risk everything for your children because some of their failures point back to parents and preparation. But what's the responsibility level? Like, what's the limit of a parent's responsibility for their adult children? Some people say, OK, when you're 18, that's it. You're cut off when you're 21, when you finish school. But apparently, based on numbers and studies that are coming out, baby boomers are contributing well into 30s and sometimes 40s. Now, let's put this in context before we start giving out our opinions. I do want to put this out there. Millennials and some Gen Xers, but mostly millennials, are poorer than the previous generations at the same age. So millennials don't have as much wealth and they have more debt than the parents did, than their parents did in their 20s and 30s and any other generation. And this hasn't happened before. Usually what we've seen is that adults of each generation get wealthier. So the 20 to 23 year olds of baby boomers were wealthier than their parents. And then their parents were wealthier than the previous generation. But when it comes to uh, generation X and then also millennials, this is not the case. So are these different circumstances leading to adults having to dig more into their retirement to help their adult children take care of their own family and take care of bills? Or is this just irresponsible behavior on the past of millennials and Gen Xers and adults? What do you think the answer is to this? I mean, personally, my parents haven't had to risk or dig into their savings to help me, but I know if I really needed help, they would. I just haven't been in that position where I've needed that much assistance. Sure, I might have needed help with a car repair or two, or sometimes even bill payment, but it's been every once in a while. It's never been consistent, uh, and I moved out at 18. So I'm not necessarily speaking about myself, but I do want to know from you guys, for anyone that's a Gen Xer or millennial that's still taking money from their parents for help with children, for cost of living expenses, do you feel like you should be cut off? Do you feel like you're taking advantage or do you feel like this is just the reality of today and the debt load that adults have to deal with today? For parents that are digging into their retirement funds to take care of their adult children or their grandchildren, how do you guys feel? Do you feel like you're giving too much? Do you feel like... Uh, your adult children are not taking care of themselves or doing a piss poor job at money management? Or do you feel like this is just a reflection of the economy and the days we live in? Keep in mind also, people are getting married later. People are having children later because of student loan debt and because of overall cost of living expenses. We know that renting today is vastly different from renting in 1960 and 1970, even in the 1980s. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section if you feel like it's just irresponsible behavior if you feel like Americans are spoiled and we haven't been cut off as adults when we should be or do you feel like it's just a reflection of the times let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting conversations around finances and to get updates on different financial topics and financial literacy topics that you want to hear about